the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back everybody to KX News at 6 on this Tuesday evening. We are taking a live look at Minot right now. We've had mostly sunny skies throughout the day today. Still looking at some sunshine as that sun starts to set on the horizon a bit there in Minot. Temperature there is 58 with winds out of the east around 11 miles per hour. So nice light breeze out there. Bismarck's also looking at mostly clear skies. Temperature is 59 with winds out of the east around 14 miles per hour. So a bit more breezy in the capital city this evening temperatures right now anywhere from the mid to upper 50s into the low 70s in the far west there. So it's 55 right now for Harvey, 58 in Garrison and right now in Sydney feeling a little bit warmer once again in the west. It's 70 degrees winds mainly out of the east southeast anywhere from about 5 to maybe even 20 miles per hour. So we do have lighter winds back to eastern and central North Dakota. However, back to the west a little little bit stronger of a breeze around 18 miles an hour right now in Beach and 17 miles an hour for Williston. Winds in western North Dakota still gusting up to around 20 to maybe even 30 miles an hour. Throughout the night tonight, those winds will die down. However, by tomorrow afternoon, picking back up in areas of western North Dakota, with gusts up to around 30 to maybe even 40 miles an hour just outside of Dickinson for tomorrow afternoon. Now rolling into Thursday, that's when much of the state will see winds picking up for us. Areas in south central North Dakota are going to have a bit more windy conditions with those winds gusting up to around 40 to maybe even 45 miles an hour. Areas of central North Dakota, however, looking at wind gusts around 30 to 35 miles an hour on Thursday and winds will remain into Friday afternoon with areas in eastern North Dakota still looking at those winds gusting up to around 40 to maybe even 55 or 50 miles per hour on uh, Friday for us. So our satellite and radar right now, we're looking at mostly clear skies as we have this high pressure system uh, sitting in eastern North Dakota. Our precision cast shows that throughout the night tonight, we will have dry skies. A few clouds will make their way into southwestern North Dakota by tomorrow morning and bringing with them a few scattered rain showers in that area of southwestern North Dakota throughout the evening tomorrow. And then they could remain in that southwest corner of the state into early Thursday morning. However, we're going to wake up to mostly cloudy skies on Thursday and once again could see a few pop up showers throughout the day Thursday. However, by Friday, that's when we see better chances of rain for areas of central North Dakota and then rolling into Saturday morning when we have that eclipse roll our way. We could see a few clouds out there, so visibility with that might not be the best. Now, once again, we do have the ring of fire solar eclipse rolling our way on Saturday. Peak for that will be around 11 a.m. for areas of North Dakota with that 60% uh, chance of that viewing. So with this, don't don't look directly at it. That's not good to do. You could burn your eyes by doing that. So please don't look directly at it and you can't look through uh, regular sunglasses. You need a certain pair of glasses to actually look directly at it. And once again, we could be fighting that cloud cover. So hopefully we get a good view of it, but once again, make sure you know what you're doing when you're trying to view that solar eclipse. Lows tonight will be dropping down into the upper 20s and low 40s, so a bit cooler in eastern North Dakota throughout the night. Tonight, Dickinson's five-day planner shows temps cooling down uh, throughout the next few days as well into the upper 40s and low 50s for some areas. Here's Bismarck's seven-day forecast. We have rain chances returning for us over the next few days as well and some cloudy skies as those temperatures drop. So down Definitely feeling like autumn. You can feel the crispness in the air out there, Miss Brooke. Yes, and all of the changing leaves, certainly a pretty sight. Yes. Thanks so much, Taylor. Coming up next, the Legacy Savers hope to make history this weekend. We preview the state side.